Season's greetings with Geek, what's inside the newest Geek Fuel subscription box. All the preparation required to celebrate Christmas is now past us. Christmas has come and gone, and of course now we have to look forward the entire year before we celebrate the holiday season again. Hopefully everybody had themselves a good holidays, and of course as we look into the new year, we can look at New Year's resolutions. And perhaps one of your New Year's resolutions is, I want to get more geek stuff delivered right to my door. Ah, the answer to that is Geek Fuel. Every single month, Geek Fuel will deliver to you a selection of t-shirts, collectibles, and all geek-tastic stuff inside what I might just say is one of the most dapper-looking boxes around. We're going to go ahead and get this box open up, check out the contents inside. And of course, again, if you'd like to subscribe to the Geek Fuel, you can click the link down below located in the video description. Let's go ahead and open this up right now. I'm going to tilt the box up. I mean, truthfully, the box does look like this, but I don't think it has as much curb appeal as if I had it flipping around the other way. Also, you'll notice, too, that there's no tape. Uh, it actually comes inside a larger box, so no tape is required when you go ahead and open up these Geek Fuel boxes for yourself. It's not to say that they're not stubborn still to open up the boxes, but we'll go ahead and open up nonetheless. And greeted to us on the front, we've got Seasons, Seasons, Geekings. Wow, that sounded a lot better than my intro. I should have probably used that. This is, of course, the insert card that's going to tell us all the stuff that's located inside the box, but far be it for me to spoil that. I'm going to check it out for myself. I do something. I see something that says hard up the top. I'm willing to conclude that it has something to do with die hard. We'll know soon enough. First thing we're going to do, though, before we get to that item, we're going to have a look at a Harry Potter snow globe. Uh, look out for the rare mystery characters. This is something you don't see too often. A mystery box that contains a snow globe. Kind of clever, isn't it? On the back there, this comes to us from Paladone. Of course it comes from Paladone. Let's go ahead and get the tape cut open because we don't really know who, who we're getting inside. Chet Cunnington, my knife, has had a very good holiday season. Again, I hope everybody had a very safe and happy holidays. Whatever holidays you may celebrate. By the way, just again, giving you some ideas of what snow globes are available. There's Dumbledore, there's a Hagrid. I mean, I'm not going to list all of them. You can see them on both sides. Let's see who we got, though, instead. Pulling it out. And, of course, we're if we're going to get any Harry Potter character as a snow globe, why not Harry himself? Now, in favor of snow, it seems we've got ourselves some glitter. Glitter gold. That's not bad at all. You can see there's Mr. Potter inside with his little lightning bolt scar. You can see down below it says HP. That would be for Harry Potter. Uh, so what it looks like on the bottom. Just says Paladone. It says not remove base or break seal. That's probably a good idea. I mean, if you were to break this, this would go everywhere. Glitter would be covering everything. And your parents would be very disappointed. But anyways, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good snow globe. I suppose I could technically just put this out all year round. Nothing is dictating that I have to put out specifically during the holiday season. It's a nice looking snow globe though. Very nice. I'm going to put that to the side. I see as well we've got ourselves a t-shirt. Let's go ahead and open that up now. Perhaps in the comments section, as I would like to pose questions to you guys now, let me know in the comments section what you guys got for Christmas. Or maybe what your favorite gift was for Christmas or holiday. Whatever holiday you were celebrating. We've got ourselves now showing a Gremlins t-shirt. I do like the fact it's got that festive spin going for it. So it's an actual Gremlin, but it's outlined. And inside, you can see there's a snowy uh, winter wonderland. And there's Gizmo right in the middle of that. That is a really cool looking t-shirt. I don't know if it's an exclusive to Geek. I'm assuming it is. On the top there, it's got Geek. Yeah. On the top there, you can see it. I just realized that now. Geek Fuel, it is a Geek Fuel exclusive. So really, the only way that you'd be able to get this particular t-shirt is if you actually subscribed and got the Geek Fuel box delivered to your door. Two rather nice gifts under the tree, so to speak. Next thing we're going to have a look at is delicious popcorn, fresh and crisp. Is it safe to assume it is actually popcorn? Let's pull it out here. And it is. So what do we have here? 
We have Act 2, Butter Lovers Naturally and Artificially Flavored Popcorn. Who doesn't love popcorn with their movies? And it also seems like we've got ourselves a ticket stub. Kingston Falls Theater, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's from 1937. And it says $4. Is that what a movie would have gone for back then? I feel like it would be a lot cheaper. Oh, actually, here, there's a date. 12 24 84 So even though it's not... We're not seeing the movie in 1937. Apparently, if you had seen the movie in 1984, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs would have cost you $4. I'm assuming this is real. I don't know if there's a perforation on the side. That is pretty cool. i make sure I don't definitely lose that. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm a big Disney guy myself, so I'm really looking forward to Maybe I'll have to put that in a frame or something. This has me extremely interested because I saw this online. I even almost pulled the trigger to pick this one up for myself. It's a Die Hard Christmas, the illustrated holiday classic. I don't even need to be picking this up now. Let's cut the tape on the side. And I'm anxious, very anxious to check out the contents of this book. Open this up. Take the book very carefully, very carefully out. Oh, what else we have in here? Oh, can you actually make your very own ornament? This opens up, right? This opens up like this, like this, like this. And then I guess you put John McClane on the inside. I'm not going to do this completely right now, but you put John McClane on the inside. <laughs> how, how cool is that? Although I feel like it should be flipped the other way, but it, there's technically foil, reflective foil on the inside. It's just not as shiny as it is on the outside. You got a little John McClane that you could put inside of that. I'm going to put that. Technically, my tree is still up. My tree is probably still going to be up for the next month or so. And let's have a look at the Die Hard Illustrated book. I'm not going to read the entire book, but I'll just give you guys a quick summary as to what's going on here. So it is actually done as a night before Christmas. So it was the night before Christmas, and up in the tower, everyone was partying except one wallflower. John McClane missed his wife. Things weren't the same since Holly had moved west and changed her last name. Uh, he tried to win her back, but she, but still she said no. While unbeknownst to him, there was trouble below. A truck had pulled up, and who would disembark but 14 men whose intentions were dark? Now I feel almost inclined to read the rest of this. They spoke not a word and unloaded big crates. They cut the phone lines and locked all the gates. Carl swept the floor, shooting every guard dead, while visions of bear bonds danced in his head. This is actually fun. Uh, John took off his shoes, making fists with his toes. It actually worked. Well, what do you know? When out in the lobby there arose such a clatter, he sprung to the door to see what was matter. What was the matter? When what do his wandering eyes should appear? Holy crap, there's terrorists here! John hid under the table where no one could see and watched Hong's question, Mr. Tagag Takagi. I'm going to count to three. There will be no four. Give me the codes to open the vault door. Uh, I don't know the codes, so go ahead and shoot. Okay, said Hans Grubert and ruined Takagi's suit. John tried to call the cops by pulling the alarm, but instead called the bad guys who tried to cause him harm. Fun book, this is. But John killed Tony, who had very small feet, and sent him to the terrorist as a Yuletide treat. He wrote a Santa hat on... No, oh, he put a Santa hat on the German, and eyes all aglow, wrote, Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Carl was furious. Tony was his brother. He chased John across the roof, and they shot at each other. John was able to escape through the ventilation shafts, come out to the coast, he sighed. he sighed, we'll all have a few laughs. And actually, that's the ornament that you can make for yourself. Doesn't seem to be a long book, so we'll, we'll keep going here. At Nakatomi Tower, Sergeant Powell arrived, or appeared. He checked the whole lobby and saw nothing weird. He was pulling away, but didn't get far before Marco landed on the hood of his car. Powell drove away backwards, screaming in fright. Welcome to the party, pal, John yelled with delight. What an awesome book this is. 
More police arrived, the FBI and SWAT team. But Hans didn't mind. It was all part of the scheme. More rapid than eagles, his henchmen they came, and he radioed and shouted, and they called him by name. Now Eddie, now James, now Franco, now Uli, on Fritz and on Carl, long, hair long and unruly. There's all the henchmen down below there. They shot at the SWAT tank with a surface-to-air missile and knocked it away like down with a, like the down of a thistle. Now John McClane was angry indeed. He blew up the terrace and called them jerkweed. Ellis told Hans, Bubby, I'm your white knight. Hans shot him dead, giving the hostages a fright. Hans went to check on the explosives fuse and saw that poor John wasn't wearing any shoes. John fled from Carl and Hans, but alas, he had to run barefoot over sharp, broken glass. His feet, now they how they hurt, his soles oh so bloody, John crawled to the bathroom and called his good buddy. John was weary and ready to throw in the towel until he got a pep talk from Sergeant A. Al Powell. Powell was chubby and plump, a right jolly old cop, and he trusted the cowboy in the tattered tank top. But a reporter was probing into McLean's life and revealed that Holly was actually John's wife. Hans quickly flipped over the gold picture frame. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. McLean. His clothes all tarnished with ashes and soot. John staggered to the roof, bloody and barefoot. The, ro the explosives were wired to the rooftop with care in the hopes that the hostages soon would be there. John warned everyone the roof would soon blow as the chopper strafed him with high-powered ammo. Around his waist, he tied a fire hose tight and, screaming an oath, jumped into the night. It's almost finished. Fiercely fighting his way back inside, John yelled out, Hans! He was done trying to hide. He limped to the vault like an old man on crutches, only to find Holly in his filthy clutches. John dropped his gun, put his hands to his head. It seemed he and Holly soon would be dead. But with a secret gun taped to his back, John shot Hans in a surprise attack. Hans fell out of the window, still holding Holly's arm, and slowly, deliberately raised his firearm. The tenacious villain held on by his nails till John unhooked Holly's watch and said, Happy trails. Bear bonds fluttered like fresh fallen snow as Holly embraced her blood splattered bow. So Merry Christmas to all to be kind to one another. And most of all, yippee ki -yay. Well, you know the rest of it. What, what a great book. Certainly something I will be planning to read every single year. Now, of course, with the reading past us, let's see what else we got inside here. We got ourselves some uh, little gift tags. You can use some gift tags. Various different Christmas movies. Christmas uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Of course, Die Hard down below. Turbo Man, just watched that recently. Home Alone and Elf. And of course, their mascot, the little geek fuel robot. Let's go ahead and check out the contents we've got going on inside here. Of course, the big one I would feel is the Die Hard Christmas Illustrated Holiday Classic and Exclusive John McClane Ornament. I think that's super, super cool. Yippee ki -yay, monthly fuelers. All John McClane wants for Christmas is to reunite with his estranged family. But when his wife's office party turns into a deadly hostage encounter, situation, situation, he has to save her life before he can get home in time for Christmas. The unconventional fan favorite movie Die Hard is now an illustrated storybook, complete with machine guns, European terrorists, and a cop who's forced to rely on all his cunning and skills and the help of a fellow officer to save the day. Of course, we also did get ourselves a Harry Potter mini snow globe, one of seven characters. Add a little Potter magic to your room with a Harry Potter snow globe, featuring some of your favorite characters from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Each three-inch tall mini glass globe contains a chibi-style figure of your favorite Harry Potter character surrounded by swirling gold glitter. 
did also get ourselves some season geekings bonus gift tags and a mogwai movie madness exclusive t-shirt and movie watching kit tis the season for watching movies in the comfort of your home and catching up on holiday classics just follow these three rules when wearing this exclusive tee and everything should turn out fine no bright lights don't get wet and enjoy the popcorn but don't eat it after midnight again does beg the question what is considered midnight if i was to eat something if everything after midnight, for example, um, would that be like four in the morning, five in the morning? Would it, like 11.59 in the morning be still considered after midnight? Again, I'm posing a question I'm sure nobody will ever have the answers to. One question I certainly would pose to you is, what was your favorite gift again you got this Christmas holiday? Or if you're celebrating any other holiday, what was the best gift you got this year? Let me know down below in the comment section. And also, if you'd like to subscribe to the Geek Fuel, you can click the link down below in the video description. While you're also down there, if you're new to the channel and you're so far enjoying all the content you've been seeing throughout 2020, or maybe this is the first time you're watching this chap's channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. You turn on the bell notification as a reminder to YouTube to let you know when new videos will be posting. And just know that Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you'll find new videos popping up on this channel. Lots of stuff coming up for the rest of this year and all throughout 2021. So forever and always keep those peepers peeled. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.